Local leaders will be gathering in downtown Orlando to protest the governor's decision to suspend Orange Osceola State Attorney Monique Worrell. They call the move unconstitutional because she was elected to the position. News 6's Catherine Silver spoke to a professor at UCF. Catherine, he's providing some perspective on how this happened and what happens next. That's right. He says this is at minimum the fourth elected official Governor Ron DeSantis has suspended during his years in office where the rationale behind his decision making appears to be policy based. Of course, the governor argues he has the legal grounds to do this and historically it does happen. Monique Worrell's administration of criminal justice in the Ninth Circuit has been clearly and fundamentally derelict. The decision from Governor Ron DeSantis marks the second time a state attorney has been suspended within the last year. Monique Worrell says she ran on a progressive platform and delivered and now faces an uncertain future. I didn't hide. I didn't say that I would do things and I didn't do them. I am your duly elected state attorney for the Ninth Judicial Circuit. Florida's constitution gives the governor the authority to suspend an elected official. In Worrell's case, DeSantis's executive order cites incompetence and neglect of duty. It's the rationale, the reason for the suspension is the the bigger difference. Aubrey Jewett is a political science professor at UCF. Every governor has suspended and removed local elected officials, absolutely. It's just usually it's been done when they've been indicted for an actual felony or crime. Last August, Andrew Warren, a Democratic state attorney in Hillsborough County, was suspended after he spoke out about Florida's 15-week abortion ban. He challenged DeSantis's decision in the courts. We had said that the governor would be emboldened if the courts didn't step in and say, you're not allowed to do this. After a legal loss in June, Florida's Supreme Court pointed Warren to the state Senate, which has the authority to remove or reinstate a suspended official. Jewett says it's a challenge for Warren and Worrell, both legally and politically. The Republican legislature, the Senate, is filled with conservative Republicans, and they have shown no desire or ability to go up against the governor and overturn anything that the governor wants to do. And Jewett says, realistically, Worrell will likely only get her job back if she runs for re-election, which she has said she will do. I'm live in the newsroom. Catherine Silver getting results. News 6. Catherine, thank you. The governor appointed Andrew Bain to take over for Worrell. And just into the newsroom, he released his 100-day plan. It includes community outreach programs and events, facilitating rehabilitation for nonviolent offenders, strengthening relationships with law enforcement, and reviewing previously dropped cases. Meantime, leaders with the 9th District also posted on Twitter, the docket for today and tomorrow has been canceled. Hearings for the next two weeks will go on as scheduled. We reached out to see if this was because of Worrell's suspension. We have not heard back.